Hey everyone, it's Catherine from Server Pro, and today we'll be showing you all the features of the RPG Chat plugin and how to download and install it on your server. This plugin allows you to write something in chat that will appear above your character. Only people who see you can see what you said. First, you're going to need to go to the plugin's website. You can find the link in the description below. Make sure the plugin is compatible with the version your server is on. Then, click Download Now, which should instantly download a .zip folder of the plugin that contains multiple versions of it. Once that's done, we recommend dragging the file to your desktop so it's easier to find. Double-click on the .zip folder and drag and drop the Minecraft version of the plugin you want to use onto your desktop. Go to your service control panel. Make sure your server is set to spigot or paper and that you've selected a version that is compatible with the plugin. Before proceeding, make sure your server is offline. Next, head over to your files section and open the plugins folder. Now you want to drag and drop the plugin file into this folder. Then you can turn on your server and wait till it's online to see if the plugin has installed correctly. After doing so, head over to the console tab to make sure the plugin is installed. You can see it's installed when it says done near the bottom. During the startup, make sure there aren't any errors relating to the plugin. You can configure some elements of the plugin by going to the config files. Go to the plugins folder from the files section and click on the RPG chat folder. Then click the config.yml file. Here you can configure many things such as text color, symbols, channels, and more. In game, you can use three different commands. RPG Chat Reload will reload the configuration. RPG Chat Fix will delete text that didn't get removed. And finally, RPG Chat Channel changes your current chat channel. However, this feature is currently still in beta. Channel names can be configured in the config file. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to see more from our channel. If you have any further questions or problems, don't hesitate to contact us. We will leave a link in the description. Thank you for watching.